In this video, we're gonna make a fan art for David Cornsworth's Superman from James Gunn's upcoming Superman movie. How's it going everyone? Welcome to Rexford. I'm finally happy to upload my very first video and what better way to start than with the greatest superhero of all time. So without further ado, let's get started. To start things off, I'm gonna need the actor's face. I decided to get that from one of these screen test images of David Cornswell. So there are many ways to cut out a subject from a background. You can use Photoshop's Select Subject tool to instantly mask out the subject. Or if you're like me, who want more accuracy, you can use the pen tool. Next up for the body, I used a 3D model of Superman that I found on DeviantArt. Links in the description if you want to check that out. I used Blender to get a good angle with the proper light direction. This is not mandatory since if you can find a good image, that's more than enough. But I prefer to do it this way. Now I'm going to import that image into Photoshop and just like last time, use the pen tool to cut out the body. You can see I'm turning my canvas black and white using a black solid layer. This is because I don't want the colors distracting me and only want to focus on the brightness and contrast. After I'm done masking, I'm going to position the head and the body and use a levels adjustment layer to match the brightness and contrast of both layers. Next, I'm going to work on the emblem. Early on Instagram, James Gunn shared a sneak peek at the new Superman suit and the emblem is heavily inspired by the Kingdom Come Superman. So I got an image off of Google, separated the colors to different layers and using blending options, added a drop shadow to give a little bit of depth. From the Instagram post, we can see it has a denim texture. So I googled a texture map and started adding it above the color layers, then clipping them and changing the blend mode to multiply and use blend diff to get back some of those colors. Then I added the yellow outline and repeated the texture process. Then I converted all the layers into smart objects and moved them into our main canvas. I placed the logo and used transform warp to place it onto the chest. For the cape attachment, I used one of Henry Cavill's Superman images and cut off the parts into two layers and placed them using Transform and Warp. Next up, I cleaned out some of the flaws on the 3D model and drew out some separators on the body using some simple brush strokes. This is because I plan to add the same denim texture onto the body. I want to show this suit like it was stitched up by someone. Like for the emblem, I'm going to use three layers for both arms and chest areas and the same process follows, multiply, blend if, and transform and walk. Now it's time to refine and add some color. Using a hue and saturation adjustment layer, I changed the bodysuit color. Next I'm going to add some simple shadows using the soft brush tool underneath the cape and below the emblem. Now I added an exposure adjustment layer to the whole subject to give some common shadows. I also created a separate exposure layer to the emblem to give it more depth by adding more shadow. Now, with the new exposure layer, I am giving the emblem some highlights as well. Now, 
Then, to make things even better, I'm adding a rim light. Now it's all about giving the right highlights and shadows. We're nearly at the end. Now it's time to add the cape. For this, I'm going to draw the cape by hand using the brush tool and adding some shadows and highlights using the soft brush tool. Later, to finish it off, I thought about adding a city skyline along with the Daily Planet building, but later I decided to keep the background blank. Now, with some color lookup layers, and some field blur, and a camera raw filter, we're pretty much done. That was a lot of fun to make, and I hope you had a good time watching the progress, but most importantly, I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and share. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel to see similar videos. And if you want to see more of my work, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I will see you in the next video.